Hello, MGTOW brothers. MGTOW, men going their own way. We can all go our own way. We can make our own decisions in life. Um, if you learn about the, the faults, the fuck-ups, the, the disgusting nature of reality in our world too late, you know, you end up wasting a great portion of your life. So what I've noted on here is a lot of men um, lament the fact that they were never taught anything about feminism, about how women use it, how the court system, laws and everything destroys men. There was never a real sit down. There may have been jokes or little cautionary asides, but never, never an organized thought process or philosophy or counter to uh, counter philosophy that men could implement. As a result, um, our society has been screwed. It's, it's, uh, it's been destroyed. Before we caught on to what was happening, it was destroyed by feminism. So a lot of uh, men lament that fact, right? They didn't have the advantage of knowing better ahead of time. So we really need to focus on helping young men realize what the game is that they're playing. And not accidentally make a few good decisions and then have a few accidents, bad decisions, because of the setbacks, the emotional setbacks men are uh, burdened with, the financial setbacks men are burdened with, because of feminism and how feminism uses women to destroy women and men and the family and our nation. So I, I see it not as, it's not a personal attack against you and me, even though we feel it personally. It's an attack on all of us. And so we need to all help each other. So I've decided to do MGTOW videos. I've been fairly successful thanks to you guys. Apparently my message, the way I deliver it, um, has found a home. And I want to thank you guys for subscribing and commenting. And I also want to thank you for hitting subscribe, right? Hitting the like button. Very important so that more of these videos make it out onto YouTube and have a wider audience they're exposed to. But also I want to thank you for hitting the share button. A lot of people are being directed here by their friends, by their brothers, by their fathers, right? Even by their sons. You know, men are finding out that they have a source of information from which they can draw from and then examine that information for its validity, right, to find out how true it is for them in their world, and then apply it as a MGTOW does, that is a man going his own way. You don't have to accept everything I say. In fact, I would recommend you question everything I say and see if it works for you. But there are some universal truths about what is going on with feminism, and that is that it wants to destroy men, and it does it by convincing women they are no longer women, and don't want to be real women, but they want to be the equals of men. Right? If one equals one, then one is the same as one. If women are the equal of men, then men are men, or women are men, or women are women. What the fuck, right? They cannot be our equal. It doesn't make any sense. It's a non sequitur. You may have equality under the law, but there is no equality of self. Woman does not equal man. Right, line, line, slash through it. Does not equal. So one of the techniques, one of the greatest techniques used by feminism to control men is guilt and shame. As a result, men do not speak up. Men do not act out. In fact, they are persuaded through guilt and shame to not be themselves, to submit to women. And that means submitting to feminist ideology. And even if they don't submit to it, they hide from it. They try and protect themselves. But I have put myself out front, along with many other MGTOW, who are doing videos and who walk around, not doing videos, but living their daily lives, letting others know, other men especially, but certainly also letting feminists know that they don't have a voice of reason. They just have a voice of ignorance, a voice of self-destruction. That's what feminist voice is. So I put my face on here. People in my hometown know who I am. <laughs> it's gotten back to me that they enjoy the MGTOW videos. 
And other people have gotten back to me and let me know they don't appreciate them. And guess what? I do not apologize for it. Not on here and not on person or in person. There is no reason to apologize for being a man and for examining and understanding what feminism is and how evil, how vile it is, and what it does to women, destroying them and making them into mind-numbed idiots who aren't proud of what they are. A lot of MGTOW hate women. They say it, they hate women. I do not hate women. I hate feminism and what it does to women. And then I hate how feminism speaks through women and causes them to take actions that are self-destructive and destructive towards men. That is me going my own way. I'm not married. I am single. I live my life as I see fit. My mind is mine. And I will use it as I see fit. And I will not succumb to guilt or shame. And I try to educate on here as well as inform. I want to inform everybody of my opinion and then have you guys in this great forum of YouTube share your concepts in the comment section. And then directing young men here. Young men, they have strong minds and strong bodies still. They haven't been beat down by life or beat down yet by a woman. And they need to understand up front that they hold all the cards, all the keys to their life. And they can live exactly as they wish. Whatever it is they wish, they can live exactly that way. But what these young men that are not aware of what's going on, they may feel it the way we felt it. They may feel it better than we did because feminism is such a strong force now. But they need to be educated and told and commended for thinking with a MGTOW type philosophy and understanding that if they choose to get married, if that's the way they want to go, they need to see the consequences, whether intended or unintended, of making that decision. There is a heavy price to pay for getting married. There is a strong risk, strong risk, that their personality will be subdued, that their physical body will be dominated, that their personal will will be crushed, and their financial or economic or however you want to describe it, their money will no longer be theirs to decide. Unless they are the strongest of alpha males, and they find the most submissive of women who really care and love for them. And that is a hard, hard, hard thing to do. And men, young men need to understand that. And I think that's why there are so many that are willing to have kids out of wedlock. And they still get stuck with the bill. And why the rest of us have, as taxpayers have to pay taxes that contributes to the welfare state. It is because feminists in their stupidity have destroyed women and tried destroying men and have destroyed the family so that government is empowered and government becomes the father and husband. That is the agenda. But young men, if you're listening, and young men, if you've been led here, realize the decision is yours. And I put my face on here so it can be seen. You don't have to submit to them. You don't have to become weak. Be strong. Be brave. Stand fast. Do not back up to feminism. You guys are going to be the ones who have to push back the hardest. I'll push back as hard as I can, and I'll do what I do. But I'm just one man, and I influence thousands of and those thousands, in turn, through their videos and their discussions and their comments, influence tens of thousands. And the net result of tens of thousands of men pushing back on feminism is the creation and influence of a new agenda. And that is a return. Not to some tradcon thing, MGTOW. It's not a return to tradcon. It's a return to dominant masculinity 
whatever form that ends up taking, men need to realize their power and their importance and stop accepting the dunderhead rule. And by dunderhead rule, especially for the young guys, you see television shows, you see movies where men are stupid and they don't get it and women are telling them what to do and how to do it and making fun of them. When I was a child, television was not that way. Men were not that way. Men in movies weren't that way. Now men are depicted as morons, as lazy, as slobs. And it encourages feminists to treat us as men like shit. You young men need to see that that's how you're being portrayed and you don't even realize it yet. You think when you see TV, that's not me. But they beat you down with it. And women are highly susceptible to indoctrination and brainwashing or, or uh, media manipulation. And they believe you're an idiot. And the moment they get their claws in you, they hook you with that pussy. They will suck you in, and then they will chew you up and eventually spit you out. So the problem with being a young man, the problem with being a young man is, is you don't know yet what you're in for. The good news is, is that I and many others am here to help you. To help you take a look at what is going on. Because you are not impenetrable and, and uh, you're not bulletproof. I went through life thinking I was bulletproof. For the most part, I was. I've actually been shot at uh, and hit. <laughs> you're not really bulletproof to what feminism is. If you're not aware of it, it will conquer you instantly. If you are aware of it, it will slowly beat you down. And if you fight back against it on a daily basis, you can defeat it. It's not just about awareness that it's there, but it's the ability and the willingness to be a man, to be proud of being a man, and to not be ashamed of it and not to succumb to guilt and abandon your manhood. That is what feminists want. That is what the agenda wants, is for you to abandon it and to hide like a coward from feminism. So I want to encourage everyone who's young, stand up now. Get used to it. Get used to the feeling of being attacked by women and other you know, white knights, men who are feminists, who themselves are apologists for being a man and will stick up for feminists and feminism. You have a long fucking road to hoe and it's going to get a lot worse before it gets any better. And I want to encourage men, not only inform them, but encourage men to stand up and act ye like men, to be real men, not metrosexuals, not lumbersexuals, not fake men, be real men, be yourselves. If that means climbing a mountain and spending five days up there and thinking about who you are and what you are and what you want and what is most important and what you're willing to sacrifice, very important. What are you willing to sacrifice and to ensure that you remain you and not a shell or husk of yourself that is controlled like a puppet by a feminist woman who has ensnared you? Young men out there, beware. Learn all you can before you put your finger in the noose. This is John, host of MGTOW is Freedom. Please subscribe. Please click like. Click on sponsors. That helps pay my bills. But above all else, I appreciate your comments because it shows that this channel has intelligent viewers with intelligent commentary who are strong and willing and able to sound and act like real men. Semper Fi, everyone. Semper Fi, men.